We have to move somewhere they don't have the internet. Wait, where's your ticket? I've realized I can't outrun this thing. I'm sending you back without me so you can lead normal lives. What? We don't want to go back without you. Trust me, this will be better for all of us. Yes, that makes me the man of the house. There's going to be some changes. Steve, kiss me on the mouth. But what will you do? Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm going to have a drink at the airport bar, then I'm going to blow my brains out. Don't tell the kids. Stan, the kids know you drink. <sighs> yeah, I'm uh, not going to miss that. President Obama visited the UN today, where he received a five-hour standing ovation. That Obama sure has changed things. What do you mean? Well, the United States was the laughingstock of the world until Obama came along. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I mean, the United States has done some pretty shameful things. Just this 20-gauge and, uh, one of these Toblerones. But then Obama comes along, and... He makes it all better. Uh, you may want to stand back. Brain matter? I mean, if Obama can make America look good after all the embarrassing crap it's pulled, then he can make anything look good. My God! That's it! Anyway, as you know, Lima has a booming industry of blind male prostitutes, of which I am widely known as the second most disease-free. Senor? <sighs> we can be together again! I've got a plan! Does that plan include explaining why a footless blind man is giving an expert Bajowski to our baggage handler? Admire the skills! No, listen. I'm a laughingstock, right? Well, there's one man who's so beloved that if he did what I did, he'd actually make it cool. What are you talking about? It's simple. We've just got to get President Obama to make a boom boom in a pool. I don't know. Obama may be black, but I bet he keeps his butt clenched like he's white. <laughs> that's, that's from my stand-up routine. Check it out. You ever notice when a black man poops in the pool, he's like, yo, check it. But then when a white guy poops in a pool, he's all, oh my, I'm defecating in the swimming receptacle. Dan, we'll never even get close to Obama. This plan is crazy. Look, if we can just get Obama to do what I did, then no one can tease me anymore. Then we can move back home together. White Mission Control, B.O. Uh, we are clear to initiate landing sequence for Space Shuttle Atlantis. But Black Mission Control, B.O. Get out of the way, here comes the shuttle! This roach coach will serve as our base of operations as we carry out Operation Pincher Loaf. I need two breakfast burritos and a side of refried beans. Two BBs and a side of fart paste coming up. The plan is simple. We'll renovate a rundown community pool, then we'll have a grand opening ceremony, convince Obama to swim the inaugural lap, and then get him to drop a presidential deuce. How are we going to get to Obama? First step, one of us is going to make friends with his two adorable daughters. But they go to one of the most exclusive private schools in D.C. How are we even going to get close? We're a lesbian couple. We adopted our daughter from an orphanage in Somalia. My name is Winfrey. Full scholarship. Hi, the name's Winfrey. I like Joe Bros, My Side, Gaga, K Pay, Fifi, Shui Shui, and the Flack Eye Fleas. Yeah, we fray phrase now. We best fray phrase. Let's have a play date. Your house. Madam First Lady, we are so honored to be here as lesbians of no color. Well, your daughter is just darling. Barack and I are so pleased the girls and Winfrey have hit it off. Okay, according to the map, this is where Amy Carter buried all of her So it would really mean a lot to the community if the president would come and take the inaugural lap. I will make sure he's there. <laughs> 